Welcome to the Wake Up With Jimin's Hat Podcast. Welcome to the Benny Cody. I hope you guys are feeling great because I am not. <laughs> this is a late pod coming to you straight at 3.50. It's currently 1. 1. 12 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Sab has been down with the flu. Yeah. Well, I I guess I just have to be thankful that it didn't hit me on my birthday. Which was great, by the way. Thanks, Jim. Yeah. Why me? Wala <laughs> lang. <laughs> I, I had a great time during my birthday. Uh-huh. Wala lang. <laughs> <laughs> no, kasi ikaw, inayaan mo akong mag-enjoy. You know, you made sure na I had fun. So thank you. <laughs> but I think I did <clears throat> ano na ako, talagang ewan ko, hindi ko graduate. alam kung graduate. Graduate <laughs> na ako kasi we had a gig on the 23rd and then two gigs on the 24th and then boom! Talagang ha ha, you are not part of the youth anymore, Sab. So, and the embers never fade. <laughs> Where is that from? <laughs> time is never time ah, okay. at all. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's from tonight. Tonight. <laughs> um. So we went to Poblacion. Yeah. Oh, sorry. If I blow my nose, just excuse me. <laughs> uh, we went to Poblacion. It was my first time. I left the kid at home. I was able. I I had to pump and dump because I drank some alcohol. But uh, usually, because I really won't. Even if I'm, I know I can pump and dump. Because knowing that I'm gonna go home to the kids, I just I don't. I'm not comfy, you know. But then we uh, were lucky we enough to yeah. We we booked a hotel thanks to Picasso Boutique in Makati. Uh, yeah, so I was able so to we, pump and dump. We stayed in a hotel. It was our first night away from the boys. Yeah. First night away from Pancho. My first night away from Pancho is when I gave birth to Vito. Ah, nga pala. Yeah, yeah. Well, hindi naman counted yun eh. Oh. But anyway. Anyway. Um, di ba na, ano, when, when, yung mga fellow mamas mo, mm. they say that most of them nga actually, like, after one week... Of giving birth, like they need to go out and just have a drink. Yeah. Parang kasi yun nga. And yeah, some of my good friends, they're like, whatever. Parang fuck judgmental moms. You know, I need a you're drink. You're a human being. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think, and I'm no, I am, I am in no way judging anyone. Yeah, pero in fairness to you, talaga, I'm so thankful. Hindi ka nagaka postpartum. Yeah, yeah. As in. I would say yeah. Yeah. I have the mood, I have mood swings but mo thankfully ka, mo sa akin. Yeah, thankfully I I don't have postpartum depression which is a really it's it's real and it's it's very scary and I'm thankful that I don't have it. I, I don't mean that I'm thankful na. No, but I, we, are yeah, we, we are thankful. We are yeah. Because it is a <laughs> it is a, a serious thing, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um so yun nga at least Nakakatawa lang. Ako for me, I was just reminded of how, ano ang dynamic natin like when we were young, wild, uh-huh. and free. When the embers never <laughs> fade. When the embers still faded. <laughs> Hindi. The embers nga never fade. So parang ano when, pa? In youth, the embers never, never fade. fade. Ah, okay. So pag <laughs> matanda ka na, the embers, embers fade. The embers have, the embers are dead. <laughs> Uh, anyway, <laughs> I hope for making sense. I just remember na I just remembered the feeling of and yung dynamic natin na whenever may isa na nag-enjoy, yung isa talagang febreno. Automatic in fairness, ha, that's a good partnership. Oh, as in kasi like parang there were only a few times ever na sabay kami ni Sab na Party. <laughs> the embers. Shut up. Uh, I think we only really did that <laughs> pag when we were, well, one, when we were not parents. And, and we were, we were, ano palang, bago palang tayo nun eh. Ah, yun, nin, that, that doesn't count. Yun okay. talaga. Talagang pakit. Oh, pakit naman talaga nung. Pakit ng pakit. When, 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 when we were, 
young and you know <laughs> like you would yun nga parang ang ginagawa nga namin ni Sab noon we give me kami mm. i would go home at like six in the morning mm. take a bath go back to my day job yeah as in every day Oops. grabe i cannot ako parang ngayon tingnan mo after that fucking thing now which wasn't so bad hindi naman tayo sobrang paguran what my parang birthday it, it took days to recover i'm still recovering ako <laughs> kasi nagkasakit eh. yeah um anyway uh ano tawag dito ah so we we went out went to poblacion it was uh cuz i am the maestro mm. of poblacion okay in my five times there okay i am the maestro pob <laughs> you're the mini maestro ah, yeah. next See, to ano kylark that dark dark kylark a kyle this our friend kyle um so it was really fun we went to lampara Girl, don't even ask me where we went. <laughs> I just know the last stop was Polilia. We went to Lampara and then we had a few shots. And then we went to Tambay. Hindi nga. We had those oysters, Jim. Hindi na clarify nga nila, Kyle, na hindi nga yung Tambay. But we ordered from Tambay. We ate it at Uh-oh. Panaginip. Mm, ah, mm, ano? Mm, pala, mm, hindi mm. Lampara was the second spot. Yes, oh, alam ko pa sa'yo eh. And then she went to Lampara. We hung out with um, O Flamingo. Yeah, it's fun. Um, Germ Spot. Who else? Nikki Jet Sniper. Yeah. Anyway, Charles. Well, our, our our band friends. So it was really fun. And then they, at one point in the night, yeah, they took a shot of Sab's breast milk. Oh, I don't yeah, know that why. Was, yeah. But I. T- <laughs> you didn't force them. I didn't. I didn't at all. Because I was pumping. So I was pumping. And then I have to. So I have to. Obviously, pump and then dump it. So to I, clarify, don't, I didn't want to. Dump means if, kasi kung ano, let's say you're breastfeeding, nag alcohol ka, that's what they call pump and dump. Yeah. You pump it and then you just throw, throw it, away. it away. Which is, you know, I don't, yeah, anyway. So I don't want to go all the way to the bathroom. So nila lagi yung milk ko sa shot glass. <laughs> Tequila shot glass. <laughs> and she was just setting it, setting them aside. Yeah, um, I was just doing it really quietly in my corner. And then people were like, I know, game. <laughs> shot so, what the heck? Yeah. And then they, in fairness, they didn't take a shot of it, but they were sipping it. Um, and alam mo, it's actually, it's, a, it's not gross because if you imagine, we drink cow's milk. That's disgusting. You drink milk from a cow's teat. Why? Why? That's... What's wrong with that? Why is, why is it gross now you're drinking from a human's? I know. Uh, can we not go into that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I know, I know. If you're afraid to face the truth, then we will not. What do you think of um what do you think of what what would you have done if I threw you like a mega surprise party again? So pagod now. Yeah, I wanted to ask because what are your thoughts nga on the evolution of birthday parties? Parang how many gym we just talked about it like enough with the surprises babe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We've only done that once. They better we still have like like even gifts and stuff. Uh-huh. But I disagree with the gifts though. Pero th- that was just our um once kailan ba nag surprise party for me. Yeah. But anyway, ang, I think what we talked about was parang as you grow older, syempre, um especially if you have kids, you realize na parang and dami ng baby yeah, and you want to have a baby. Hindi naman. Pabebe lang. I just talked to Candy actually about this because it was um, her boyfriend Steven's birthday recently. And she, you know, after throwing a big surprise party last year, she was like, ayoko na. <laughs> Parang, ayoko na. <laughs> and then she, Steven was like, yeah, yeah, like, ayoko na. And then, because he threw her a surprise party this year. And I asked, but, hey, what did you do for Steven's birthday? He said, um, we lunch. Kami. That's so, evolution. So, 
Yeah, and so ako, my advice is to the young kids out there with boyfriend, girlfriend. Um, okay lang yan. D- uh, ilabas nyo na yan habang may energy pa kayo. And kung nawawala man yung mga surprise, that doesn't mean your partner loves you less. Ba? Pero, again, that, Pero that, keep keep the honeymoon alive, ha? Oo. Keep the honeymoon alive. And kung ngayon, mag-launch kayo, it can, it'll still be a sweet lunch. Hindi naman kailangan, o oh, kumain ka na, birthday mo. Oo, oh, hindi naman kailangan, <laughs> tara na, winam ki. <laughs> Why? Why? That was funny. But well, nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, that it's, there's absolutely no romance naman. No romance. Okay, <laughs> pepper lunch tayo. Ano? Bakit? Hindi, ah, yeah, so, romance sa kanya. Mas may, may, mas may romance yung pepper lunch. Ano? Babe, in baby, send mo ko na, send mo ko, like wait, shh, 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 send mo ko na dalhin sa birthday ko, uh, sa ano, sa, <laughs> no, I can't. What? Wala. Ah? So, I'm thinking of some tita place, like, ah? sa Cafe Mary Grace. <laughs> Sarap kaya na Mary Grace. Yeah, but is it a date place? Ah, no, it's not. But if your girlfriend loves it there. Ah, yeah, that's, that's the yeah. thing naman. Kung ano, ako, all my girlfriends before, I sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was me sipping some tea. Shut up. My all my girlfriends before would always take me on my birthday to El Pollo Loco. Mm, because, because, sila, no? because it was my favorite dish. Pasensya na hindi kita. Hindi na brikat mo na ako. Kaulo. Pero I just absolutely loved Pollo Loco. Is that still alive? It, I think it is. I hope it and is. And that's why I'm not bringing you there because your freaking ex-girlfriends brought you there. Pero what grabe, is your deal on that? It has... Pag may that, memories uh, kayo ng ex mo at a certain place. Like, a kebs. Kebs? Chibug naman yun eh. Who cares? Calm down. Iba naman yung, uy, tara tulog tayo dun sa kama. Oh, ew, Jim! That's Yuck different. Yuck, Demure! <laughs> <laughs> Iba naman yun. Um... That's very different from, hey, I really fucking love this steak place. This is, eh, dito kami lagi na ex ko, eh, sorry. Yeah, I know someone who makes a big deal about that kasi ano? parang, parang, din nala niya si ganyan dito eh, so bow, never na kami pupunta doon. Parang, damn, so are you never allowed to like walk the streets of everywhere? <laughs> no. Yeah. Kuhay, parang, nag-Japan sila eh, so hindi na kami mag-Japan. Fuck Japan. <laughs> <laughs> like you're missing out, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. oh, yun. Pero kung ano for yun nga, kung ano food, no problem. How about mm. movies? Ano? Okay lang yun. Ano? What do you mean? Like you're never allowed to watch the movie you watch with an ex? I, I, I know people who do that. Na ah. parang uh, naiinis sila whenever kung ano kung ano. Let's say ako. I say, favorite movie, It. I mean, th- this has happened like a lot of times, like, favorite movie ko ang Cloverfield. Tapos sasabihin ng, eh, ng gr- current girlfriend, like, uh, yuck! Okay. Because he watched it with the ex. Mm. Anyway. Baka pero personal niya na favorite movie mo kasi maganda yung experience with your Ex-girlfriend. Iba naman, I don't think naman ikukwento ni current, ni boyfriend kay current girlfriend na grabe talaga yung pagmumul na. <laughs> clover. <laughs> Talagang clover field. <laughs> Lover <laughs> fest. Grabe yung mumul namin sa clover field. <laughs> <coughs> I don't even know the movie. I don't nga, I don't even know the movies you watched with your exes. Uh, who cares? Anyway. The first movie you and I watched was wag kang mag- magamari dito ah. Was was it Harry Potter seven? Yes. Point two. Yes. Ah. Yes. I mean, the first movie we watched in the theater. It was me, Sab, and her ex boyfriend. Jim, no stop joke. it! Don't we don't make me look bad. No joke. I didn't watch it that time. That time, that lolang. It was a big group <laughs> thing. Tang ina ng time that lang. Hey, not tayo at triple date charot. Anyway. Let's end this episode. <laughs> it's getting rocky. <laughs> Let's end this episode with... Uh, Why are we uh, ending it now? Andy, Papa. Sorry. 15 minutes. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, what I want to talk about is battling the flu. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, ako kasi Interesting. I, I just have this own... I have my own... Um, ano ba? Stance on it. Ah. Uh. Uh, for the longest time, I always got told, Sab, 
na I just always parang kumbaga laging last resort ko ang medicine. Mm. It's always been ang ginagawa ko. Really? Yeah. Kung si antibiotics freak <laughs> ngayon, <laughs> ngayon na kasi si pro anti because we have children na okay so parang ako if every time like honestly I really don't care if I get sick parang kumbaga fuck it mawawala yan pero since we have the boys I'm I just wanna get better because I don't ayoko sino mahawa yeah so same um before ang style ko is basta too big, too big, too big. Yeah, drown it with water. W- water, 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 sleep, NyQuil. If you've never tried a NyQuil and you are not into drugs, this may be the drug for you. Okay. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> kasi yung NyQuil, so we, yung dating kondo namin ni Sab, kami dalawa lang. As in, punk rock talaga. If someone gets sick, like, who cares? Diba? Ganun naman tayo. Yeah, tayong dalawa lang naman. Eh. <laughs> tayong dalawa lang naman. And then, I just asked her to buy NyQuil from the Sari Sari store. The Mini Mart Mini near Mart. our condo. Oh, yun. Di ba yun mat Sari Sari? Parang hindi yata. Ah. Tatong Sari, NyQuil sa Sari Sari. Anyway, um, isang shot nun, boom. You're asleep and you feel like a completely new person. We had NyQuil up. and DayQuil. Yeah, ako never ako nagde-dayquil. Hindi pa natin. Nightquil lang. And grabe, ganun ako kapang... Kasi sleep and water will really get rid of your, ano, yeah. flu. Yung grabe yung kap- pagka-punk rock talaga natin before. As in, as in every gig, papatulan talaga namin lahat. Kahit, kahit, you know, na, do you remember this one time na we had a gig in Sagiho? It was just a super normal gig. Mm-hmm. Technically, I could have sat it out. Mm. Tapos, right before we left, like, I just started, like, vomiting. Yeah. Ano <laughs> yeah. I was, like, vomiting a lot. <laughs> and then I kept saying, okay lang, kaya ko. And then he is so annoying. Lagi na lang ganyan. Pag, when I say, you want me to drive? Tapos he'll say, hindi, kaya ko. Takina. Ang kulit. Tapos, we went to Sagiho. I still drank. Like, had a beer or two. And then, in Sagio, I was still vomiting. Performed. And then habang nagpa-perform, nag-chills ako. <laughs> I was so fucking cold in a full Sagio. As in, chills talaga. Right after the set, binalo to ako ng jacket. Yeah, don't ever say we're not hardcore. <laughs> yeah. Super hardcore. Si Sap naman, ah well, before the wedding. I know. So we had a gig, like, Four nights before the, our wedding in Baguio. Um, in Baguio? No, no. Uh, oh. And so we had a gig. And then it was like some festival. <laughs> That's why we were kami ng band as usual. Eh, si Sab, somehow always... Kaya, oh, lagi ako praning, kaya when we were walking from... There was an elevated manhole. <laughs> I will forever... Uh, uh, it was not my fault. So, it was the government's fault. Somehow, natapilok siya and sprained her ankle. Eh, we were both under the influence. Inebriated. Inebriated. So, diretso kami sa hospital. <laughs> ER. Nag-away pa kami sa, on the way. Kasi ako, like, sinasabi ko, like, ako, <laughs> hindi ko, hindi ko diretso sinasabi. Pero sinasabi ko lagi, like, ako, actually, mga limang beses na ako na sprain sa buhay ko. So annoying. What the heck does that even help? Grabe, as in, naka-wheelchair ako with my stupid sprain. You were saying na parang kaya naman. Hindi naman ka na mag-wheelchair. Gago ka. Ikaw na sa sprain ka. Hindi ka na ka-heels while getting sprained. So it was more complex than that. And ako na sa sprain din ako. And I really couldn't walk talaga. And hello, it was days before our wedding. Oh, nga, kaya nga sinasay ko na bad judgment from me. Kaya nakakatawa eh, kasi if we, if we were listening to the universe, <laughs> before our wedding, I got, I had that, that sprain, and then I was confined for bronchitis. Ay, oh, and parang, what the heck is happening? But then, you know, I was able to, because of my sprain, na-force ako to get some rest. So, 
gumaling ako from my bronchitis. And because of my bronchitis, I lost weight. <laughs> so, so kasha ako sa wedding gown ko. <laughs> Pero, yeah, naalala, uh, how, uh, do, you, do you remember that scene in the hospital? Like, sab- sab- <laughs> <laughs> so, si Jim, <laughs> you were falling asleep. I was falling asleep uh, on a cart. <laughs> in sickness and in health. Talaga, this is the true test. <laughs> Papakasalan ko ba to? I'm in my wheelchair and Jim's like, oh, but he was trying to be there for me. But he was like, <laughs> you were you were in some push cart. I was sleeping on a push cart because I didn't have an umbrella. That was but but galit na galit ka nga kasi I ke- I didn't I, what what I meant to say lang naman was <laughs> actually yung sprain naman ako never on the hospital eh pero wala nang ilang beses na on a sprain. Sobrang hoops mo talaga. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Um, um, what I was trying to say was I I was think I was trying to say na parang cold compress lang yan. Kasi ganun talaga ako lumaki. Ilang beses ako na-sprain. Hindi ko nga sure kung na-sprain lang siya or fractured. Kaya nga that's what we were Kaya there nga, for. Kaya nga hindi na linalaban kasi nga <clears throat> major sprain nga pala. <laughs> I wish we had pictures from that. We do. Sige, hanapin natin. Post natin sa Facebook. Yeah. Hanapin mo nga. Oo nga eh. Well, yeah, hanapin ko. Because we just got Google Photos. Wala na yung photos mo dun. Huh? That was from your old phone. Okay. Speaking of, Jim and I are super happy because apparently, ni mo na kailangan maging Sky Cable um, subscriber for you to be able to have HBO Go. Yeah, yeah. we just discovered. <clears throat> so we now have HBO Go. So we binge watched Watchmen. Ah, uh, sobrang ganda. And then we're rewatching uh, Silicon Valley. Grabe ang Watchmen. <sighs> anyway, we hope we can get better. Um, so we Are can... you feeling sick also? No. Okay, stay away from me. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say thank you to the pod kids that we've been seeing to the gigs. You know, it's so fun. Every gig. So I, I, I've been seeing a pod kid. Hmm. Um, and... Spe- and they're, I think they're making friends with other podcasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this started, I mean, I guess the the pinaka big pod celebration was the Francis M mm. uh, shirt launch. That was so sweet. The pod kids were great. And then after that, talagang series of gigs, as in lots of pod kids. So I just want to apologize to the pod kids that went to our last gig in the root Why? of Short Christmas Party. Because... <sighs> I was sobrang out of it. Um, I was just recovering from the flu and I couldn't talk. Also, shout out to Fio for um, traveling. Two bags of laing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He gives me laing. Sobrang I, sarap. It's, what a post, what a wonderful post gig noms. <laughs> Is that correct? Noms? Noms. Yeah, parang post gig noms. Is that with a Z? <laughs> Noms. S. I'm not with it. The embers, embers are dead. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs>